Welcome back to some more Animal Crossing New Horizons. I'm Dear Darling, shall we see what's going on on our island of Fawn Hollow today? If I remember correctly though, today being June 16th, and being worn copious amounts of times by my villagers, today is Roscoe's birthday. So I do have a present lined up for him, which hopefully he likes. <laughs> At least according to whatever websites there are that say your villagers' preferences and all that. I think he likes it, and it's actually a clothing item, so he's got something new to wear. Hello everyone, right now in Fawn Hollow, it's 3.28pm on Tuesday, June 16th, 2020. Today is also Roscoe's birthday. How wonderful. Happy birthday! Clap, clap, clap. And with that, I'll get back to work supporting you in your enjoyment of our island. Thank you, Isabel. Now, this is our second birthday, I believe, on our island. I think our first one was Axel, right? I believe Axel had a birthday. Was that? Yeah, I think, I'm pretty sure it was Axel's birthday, and I didn't even know that was coming up. It just randomly happened, so. Um, anyway. This letter from Diana. My dearest chief, I want you to know that you are a fabulous friend and I appreciate you for being you. Sometimes I forget to say it, darling, but I want you to know that I think it often. I'm lucky to have you as a friend. Sincerely, Diana. I'm lucky to have you as a friend as well, Diana. Thank you very much for that letter. Sometimes that's what people need. Thank you, Gulliver, for giving me something. A candy skull mask. Hmm? I have to see what this looks like. Ah, like a Dios de los Muertos mask. The Day of the Dead, I believe it's called. Hello, Lily. I don't know why my villagers really like looking at the trees all the time. <laughs> oh, apparently I forgot. I need to buy some more wrapping paper <laughs> to actually give stuff to people. Noted. Uh, who do we think is visiting our island today? I'm going to guess it's Leif. You know? I feel like it's a decent guess. Actually, I didn't even check a map. Is red here? Red is not here. Everyone knows him in the centre. Oh. Hmm. It must be Flick or CJ then. Because we have Lay. Oh, or Sahara. Sahara's the other permanent visitor, right? I forgot. Stop. Stop this. I really need to get rid of these recipes at some point. I've got a badge of Benedict to get online to actually take these. Otherwise, these are going to be here forever. We'll have a quick run down to Nooks. Get some gift wrap paper to wrap well presents not for Roscoe but Roscoe's got a special present because it's not not just a regular old fruit today I don't know what sort of presents do you like getting on birthdays I always ask her the same thing because I absolutely love plush what is this that's a fancy umbrella I absolutely adore having plushies so <laughs> I say it's simple just buy me a plushie of something I like or Something, some sort of plushie I like, which is either cute things or creepy things. And I, or some media property that I enjoy. And it'll be amazing. Like, um, a few years ago, my friends Ali and Benny, they got me uh, a capping plushie. I'm not sure where it is. I think it's in that corner. Uh, it's, on, it's in the corner of my room over there. I can see it from where I'm sitting. And a year, year after, they got me a pink rabbit called Usachan from an anime called Oran Host High School Host Club. Is that right? That sounds right. <laughs> That one is more like a, a media property that both me and Ali watched, so it has more special meaning than that. And just something I enjoy on its own, which is nice as well. So yeah, granted, before I told people that I actually really love plushies, I think I was probably pretty hard to buy presents for. <laughs> because I'm not someone, I'm... I think I've talked about this multiple times. I'm not a foodie. I'm I'm not really someone who cares much for food. I don't have a sweet tooth. And snacks are a sort of hit or miss for me. I do like some savoury snacks, but like I'm not hugely fussed about food in general, I suppose. So food, if you give me food as a present, I'll appreciate it, of course. But, you know, as far as a list of generic presents go, that's not one which appeals to me as much. <laughs> I'm not someone who can be won over by food. My heart is not in my stomach, as, or whatever they say. I don't think that's what they say. That sounds a bit um, demeaning more I think about it. Uh, what other common food, um, not food items, flowers? Uh, I do quite like flowers, actually. I've never been given flowers, though, so <laughs> that's quite sad. You might ask, what's my favorite flower? Hmm, that's a good question. I quite like foxgloves. What other flowers do I like? Hmm. Chrysanthemums are quite nice, aren't they? So are hyacinths. I'm not sure if they would be my favourite flowers, though. Hmm. I do like water lilies. They're very pretty. Hydrangeas are also very nice. Um, 
There's, there's tons and tons, thousands and thousands of amazing flowers out there. All, all very relevant, though, because I've never been given flowers as a present, sadly enough. Either way, I think plushies would still probably be something I enjoy more than your regular old uh, flowers. What other common presents are there? Oh, clothing. Clothing is a really common, a really common one. I feel like my tastes are very particular, so it's very hard to get me clothing, which would truly resonate with me, you know? Which is probably just me being difficult, if anything. Who on earth is that Roscoe's birthday party? Must be Audie and Vivian? Or Silvana, maybe? I'm trying to think who we haven't, who else we haven't seen. Could be Diana. Diana, Audie, Vivian, Silvana. And obviously Roscoe himself is there. It'd be a bit bizarre if he didn't turn up to his own birthday party. <laughs> but let's see if he enjoys what we got him. I don't know if he'll put it on, because I think he might be wearing a party outfit already. I'm not entirely certain, but we'll see. Oh, just, just Silvana. Oh, Silvana looks adorable there. Hey, Chief. You had said about my birthday. Or make yourself comfy. <laughs> Hello, Roscoe. The darn parties like this. We're all my good pals. Sure make an old, old horse feel appreciated. That's to say nothing of a gifts. Say, you bring me something too? Sure did. And I put it in blue wrapping so I could differentiate it. <laughs> what if this... What if this don't beat at all? What, what? Oh, <laughs> what if this don't beat all? I love a moment of anticipation just before you unwrap something. A tailcoat. This is one mighty generous gift. Wasn't expecting anyone to go all out like this. Darn. Thanks for just being here. You made this party something to remember, as long as my memory holds up. <laughs> Yay. Hopefully he'll start wearing it. Oh, I feel like I should do Glee to fit in with everyone. Um, well enough as a Glee emote. There it is. Woo! Silvana looks so happy. <laughs> I wasn't sure you'd come, Somersault, but I'm glad you did, Sunny. This birthday party's going to be even more fun now. Let's have a picture. I should have got dressed for this party. I feel I feel very out of place, you know, in such casual clothing, you know? <laughs> Terrible picture. I'm not much of an artist. What else you got to say, Roscoe? Having fun, Chief. Oh yeah, ow. Watch me go. What music you got playing? Hope you're having plenty of fun. Didn't expect to enjoy it myself, but this day's full of surprises. <laughs> oh, I'll leave you to it, Roscoe. I'm sure other people dropping in and out. What's this? Heading home so soon. Wish you could stay a bit longer. Really glad you could make it. Appreciate your present, too. A very fitting tailcoat. Something very fancy, which I'm sure he'll enjoy wearing. Probably. Maybe. I don't know. I think it suits him, don't you? Uh... I'm going to have to move you slightly, Rowan. I'm sorry. <laughs> Shove. Um, yeah, I think it suits him pretty well. His favourite colour is black, apparently. He likes cool and... Was it gorgeous things or something like that? Uh, what am I doing over here? Oh, I was sorting out these flowers. Too many orange cosmoses. But now that we've actually put most of the paths in, <laughs> we can actually start lining them with our hybrid flowers rather than just having them, having them go to waste, you know? Do we even have enough spaces for any cosmoses over here? I guess we could go, like, put some here? Start spreading it out? I don't know. I think we'll, maybe we should put some by the path. The well, question is, what happens when we have too many orange flowers for the paths? Audi doesn't have very long paths around here, so... I don't know why enough that goes there, but sure. We can start taking up the pansy column because we have far fewer pansies than we do cosmoses. Not a big deal. Everyone loves the flowers. Um, where am I going? We're gonna go have a look at our lilies. Got quite a few flowers growing here. Along with a busy, buzzy bee. Yeah, what other birthday presents? What other common birthday presents are there for other people? Honestly, I always just gave out money. <laughs> Whenever friends have birthday parties, I'm like, you should decide what you want, right? And um, there's, there's pros, and, pros and cons to that sort of thing. Obvious pro. Um, they can get exactly what they want. No matter what. That sort of thing. We got free reign, and they no longer have to awkwardly accept a present if you got something which didn't really 
fit their fancy so much. Really? There's no room here? Apparently so. Con, it's uh, not a very personal present, isn't it? It's a little bit... Well, it is impersonal. To say the least. So I'm just trying to figure out <laughs> where to put these flowers at the same time. I'm, I'm very much crowding my mind. I guess we can have orange all the way up to here, then we can have black lining these paths. Because Audi doesn't have many paths, so we might as well use orange ones to do it. Um, 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 um. This purple one goes here. We need to make more paths from Lily's house. Actually, how did you get here, Eric? What on earth? Eric, you were sitting on it insane. <laughs> what? I guess that was probably his friend. He was just chatting into him. You know, strike up friendly conversation. I also didn't check any of the ponds to see if they have a potentially a giant snake head in them. That one certainly doesn't. Yeah, money's a money's of course the most versatile of gifts. It's literally whatever value it is, but very impersonal. And yeah, it's just extremely impersonal, isn't it? The main deficit for it. There's no, f there's no like motivation or feeling behind it as much as other gifts. It's just, it's not like I think it's the the blank slate, the everything you should. It's the, the zero value, you know, that you should compare gifts to. A good gift would be better than just giving a money and a bad gift, or an unsuitable gift perhaps is one which you might as well just given have given them money. Maybe that's too reductive way of thinking about it. Probably a very um. It's... Okay, I think that is either not a hybrid purple or not hybrid or not um a pure seed yellow. Um, so I guess we'll just move this yellow rose somewhere else because it's wrong. How did it produce a pink? That's impossible. Just had to check it was a pink. Yeah, is it? Money could be like the baseline gift, although I think it's probably the wrong way to think about gifts. Gifts should be appreciated for what they are, you know, even if they're not necessarily the most suitable gifts of all times. The thought you put into it should count, but I, I suppose if you don't have like a baseline gift or you don't have a way of comparing them, it sort of invalidates... I don't remember watering you with a golden watering can. Huh. Hmm. I'm a little bit confused, if you couldn't tell. I definitely didn't water this with a golden water again, did I? If I did it, I definitely don't remember. <laughs> hmm, maybe I did. Maybe I did. <gasps> Ooh, purple rose, fantastic. This is a hybrid, of course that... Oh, bear it again. What can we put away for now? Why don't we drop this umbrella on the floor, I suppose. We just want to make sure that the purple rose have, has room to breathe if we put it over here instead. Um, I guess we can put this yellow rose over here somewhere. A Rowan's house, seeing as we removed one ages ago. Got a lot of flowers to put down. We haven't seen our guest. Whoever is uh, our visitor for our island today. I was going to say, I thought I saw a present just in the corner of my eye there. And there it is. What do we think's in here? Hopefully a recipe. A summer shower recipe. Cassette player. Interesting. Not quite what I had in mind. Do we have room to put some pink flowers down? We probably don't. We have to dig up some, don't we? I guess we can start putting them over here. Since they're not high sims. It's okay to crowd this area. And we're definitely not going to have many of Diana's flowers <laughs> along this path unless we get a huge amount of golden roses, to be honest. Possible. I'm not going to rule it out entirely. But that's, gonna, that's far, far off. You know. We're going to have to fill up Diana's entire area with golden roses before we do that. I wonder if I should move this gravestone from Diana's house. It seems a bit macabre, shall we say. Who on earth is visiting? They must be on the beach somewhere or something. 
Either that or they're near Flo's house or something. I should speak to my villagers more and see who they say is visiting. It's possible they're over here. I didn't pay attention when I was up on the cliff over there. Hmm. Keep keeping's hard to be honest though. I'm not going to pretend it's easy. I do think I'm somewhat capable at it. <laughs> at least with my close friends. I'm not sure about generic presence so much. How many fossils? We only have three fossils. We're missing one somewhere. So also move some of these plants to put some high synths down. But I feel like I, since I've known my friends for a very long time, it's not too difficult for me to come up with presents to give to them necessarily. The difficulty though is, hmm, I'm not going to have perfect judgment, you know. For some reason I thought we had a blue windflower. <laughs> plant down I guess we don't it's pretty difficult to have perfect judgment with well any sort of thing like that there's a lot of potential different gifts I don't know why I planted a pansy up there when there's a space over here seems like a mistake on my part ah let's swap it with this umbrella I guess ah oh, I didn't mean to bury it in a hole whatever <laughs> just doing some flower rearrangement don't mind me. For this pansy, which should have been here ages ago. We've got some more flowers, which we should just dump somewhere, to be honest. Like, I don't know, here. But yeah, obviously I've known a lot of my friends for a very long time, so I feel like I'm, I'm decent. I give them presents. Although we don't give presents all that often, to be honest. We do do some special things for people's birthdays and stuff like that, but I don't know. I feel like most of the time I just end up giving generic presents, if anything. Maybe that's my own fault. I should be taking the time to think more about presents, but it's hard. It's expensive as well, giving <laughs> lots of presents. There's a prep. Because if you give a present to someone, you'll be like, oh man, this person's also my friend. I definitely have to give him a present as well, but you know. But you want to spend time. You want to think of a good present. You don't want to just give them something generic. But then, you know non-generic presents get kind of expensive <laughs> and all that but you know that's just the price you the price you have to pay for showing your gratitude have some water perhaps you can start creating things instead of necessarily just buying something that comes for free or well, not necessarily you're paying your time rather than money i suppose <laughs> Which, I don't know. Maybe it's worth more to you, maybe it's worth less to you. Depends on who you are, probably. Alas. No missing fossil yet this time. Sooner or later, though, we'll get it. We're very, very close. Like, what's it? Like, 3% chance or so? In one day of getting it? So eventually we'll get it. It might, might take a month or so, though. <laughs> But we're in it for the long haul. We didn't expect it to not take a long time. Because speaking of it, we have a lot of fish and bugs to catch still as well. If a giant snakehead would ever spawn, it'd be considerably easier, but... Scorpion too. Scorpions just never spawn. Um, what flowers do we need to put down? Got some green mums. Oh, a green mum, I should say. <laughs> Calling a mum is so weird. I think I'm just gonna, you know, casually refer to chrysanthemum. Chrysanthemum. Chris Amphemum as regular now. Apparently there's a purple pansy here which I never realised. Oh, I just ran immediately past it. Let's put some stuff away then. Maybe we've got some time. I'm not sure what we should do. Maybe we should build some more paths in. What paths could we build in? We could build in one from Axel's house to Audi's. That seems reasonable. Connect them up. Put the stuff all away because it's Far too much. Rearrange our inventory a little bit. Don't want to clog it up. Don't want to favourite that. I just want to just want to put it in storage. I'm trying to think back to my primary school days of like what gifts we used to give like then. Most of it is just toys, isn't it? I also want to have a quick look through duplicates of fossils as well. Most of it's just toys. That's what everyone gives each other when they're children, right? I remember I got some Bionicles once, Connects, 
What else? I think I probably got Lego at some point. I don't know. <laughs> I find I got a lot of um, educational gifts when I was young as well. Things like science kits and stuff. Not that I have anything against them. They were pretty cool. Surprising that not like book book or brain teasers, that sort of thing. I'll be honest though, I do like me some riddles. So. <laughs> Riddles and puzzles, but maybe that's why I like them so much, because I got so many when I was younger, that sort of thing. When I say puzzles, I don't mean jigsaw puzzles. I think jigsaw puzzles are kind of nice as well. I don't have any jigsaw puzzles in my house, and I... My only qualm with doing jigsaw puzzles is once you make them, I have, like, nowhere to put them. <laughs> I know you can, like, display them and stuff like that. Um, You can put, like, some lacquer or something over them. I'm not quite sure how people do it, to be honest. How much space have we got back here? Is this a space? This looks like a space. Yeah, you can get some look here. You can like put it in a photo frame or something. We don't have any of those. No, I might. Would I go for the effort to do that? I feel like you know, you make a puzzle. Once you're done, you appreciate it for a while, then you pack it up. You got more puzzles. You can do it again later. You know, another time. Add the joy, you get to do it again, over and over again. Re reusable fun. <laughs> reusable fun. Very unflattering way to call it a jigsaw puzzle, to be honest. But I don't know, I haven't really bought jigsaw puzzles all that often. I'm definitely not the type to do the like super super hard jigsaw puzzles. If you've seen them, they're like um some of them I remember was there's like more than four corner pieces so you can't start corners. Or like the puzzles where the actual um puzzle you're trying to make in the end it looks like a giant a lot a bleh, optical illusion which is just absolutely bewildering how you can even begin to solve that so <laughs> that's not really something I'm particularly interested in doing sounds if anything a little bit more frustrating than fun but <laughs> or at least not all that enjoyable for me if you like it you do you know you do you you know that's what you like it's just not for me I like to have a nice pictures to look at rather than taking the satisfaction of working through the puzzle I suppose. That's just my perspective of things, I don't know, lots of people are different. I definitely got a lot of brain teaser books and like lateral thinking books when I was younger. Hmm, we're gonna have to start moving this gas pump and oil stuff if we're gonna make a path down directly to Nooks to connect it to Audie's house. Uh, Oh, there's a flower here, what? I guess we could put this stuff over here, just like behind it. You know, just like a... I don't know. A back... <laughs> a petrol station in the back. And some cardboard boxes for storage. Something like that, I don't know. We could just start making a path. We'll make it free wide, I think. Just because it'll look a bit better, coming down from Axel's house. And if we ever get more green flowers in this game... Mm, I think they should patch them in. Green lilies would be nice. I don't know what other flowers come in green. Do hyacinths come in green? I think hyacinths can come in green. I guess the bigger problem is that green isn't a very common colour for flowers. There's not many green flowers that I can even think of. So it's probably a bit difficult to um, get any. Maybe I shouldn't have put Nook's Cranny so close to the beach. <laughs> it's a bit hard to put a path in front of it. That's right. Clear, clear this up. And then we got a, something connecting Nordy's house to Axel's house. And presumably some more places for orange flowers. I guess we could start putting them on the beach? I don't know. I haven't really thought about it. That's right, let's get the, the designer wrap open. Start some construction. I wonder what happened to all those brain teaser books I have. I wonder if I can remember any brain teasers from I know one of them I got from my piano teacher once was like a lateral thinking book because I suppose the story behind it is he had this really he had like a load of books out that you could um read while like waiting for your lesson to begin. You know, if someone was before you and all that sort of thing. Uh, he also had a practice room, and sometimes I wouldn't spend my time practicing. 
in his practice room because I practice a decent amount at home anyway, so I was like, whatever, I don't need to practice. <laughs> Which, you know, that's definitely not how I do do things now. Definitely I would practice like all the time. But for, before leading up to the, the piano lesson, I think. Maybe, I don't know. I say that, but maybe that's wrong. Anyway, not not really the point, but he had like a, a brain teaser sort of book full of like interesting... I feel like... It, I feel like he had two different books. One was like a conundrum book with like puzzles and riddles and all that sort of thing. And another one was like a fact book. You know those books you find in like children's libraries and stuff where it's all like full of interesting facts and tidbits about like the human body, science, things like that. Like clouds. <laughs> I don't know, remember. But there was this one page about the different types of clouds in that book, which for some reason I still sort of remember. Well, you got you got cumulus, you got like Sirius, Sirius. No, seriously, something else. Styrus, I think it was. I don't remember very well, <laughs> as you can tell. But I don't know. Apparently, the image of it stuck stuck in my mind. Anyway, he got me like this lateral thinking puzzle book, which is very obviously a very sweet gesture. You don't often expect presents necessarily from your instrument teacher, depending on how close you are. <laughs> but I gotta say, in retrospect, that lateral thinking book had some of the weirdest lateral thinking puzzles in it. Lateral thinking just seems like an excuse to come up with n almost nonsensical solutions to puzzles. Do we want this corner piece in? I'm not sure if we want this corner piece in or not. What does it look like here? Mm, that looks okay. But I decided against it here. I don't remember why. Maybe because it doesn't look as big a 90 degree turn, but that was actually super quick <laughs> just doing that. There you go. Got a new path connecting up Audi and Axel. We might have time to do another small path. I guess we could go left across here to the airport, right? That seems reasonable. Let's put some of these flowers in my inventory away, though. And by away, I mean let's plant them. I guess I could sell them. Because we're slowly going to start replacing some of these flowers with um, hybrid flowers, right? I don't know, that's a long way off. We need far, far more hybrid flowers to begin even considering doing that. So yeah, let's make a path from from Nooks to the airport. I mean, if we still have time, I guess we can do it up to the, the town hall, but I don't think we'll have time for that. Most of the time is digging up these flowers, to be honest. It's a, the, sad, the sad thing about New Horizons introducing the fact that you can you have to dig up flowers and you can also pluck them. Is that you can't just stand over them and pick them up anymore like you could in previous versions. Wait, could you do that in Unicorn? Or did you always have to dig them up? I feel like you could pick them up. Just like with a Y button. In Wild World at least. I really can't remember, it's been a while. <laughs> it's been an, it's been a hot while since I played the previous versions. But yeah, uh, what was I saying? I don't remember. Oh yeah, the, the lateral thinking book. It's like... Some of the teasers in it, one of, the one that stuck with me was like, a man... A man is walking very quietly, and suddenly he freezes. Freezes in place, shocked. Then he laughs. No, no, freezes in place, shocked, with both hands in the air. And then he laughs, and then carries on. What happened? And me being the riddle person I am, looked at that and went, huh? Like, I don't know. <laughs> like, maybe the, the police caught him doing something weird, and then, is Axel thinking? No, he's just watching a butterfly. It's like maybe the police caught him or something, and then like, um, they told told him a joke or something. I don't know. You know what the answer was? The answer was it was a thief breaking into someone's house. As so they were sneaking around quietly, then suddenly they hear freeze, and they, in shock, put both their hands up. To surrender, <laughs> but then he saw it was actually a parrot who said the word freeze. So on seeing it was just a parrot and not someone who caught him red-handed. He laughed. Oh, I thought we were going to talk. He laughed and carried on. And I was like, what? What? What is this solution? <laughs> I was utterly outraged, to be honest. At all. Oh, there you are, Sahara. I was wondering where you were. I'll buy your stuff off camera. It's not very interesting. You've seen it a million times already, anyway. Yeah, when I, when I learnt the solution to that lateral thinking puzzle, because they had all their answers like in the back of a book, I was like, what? Small jump cover, don't mind me. Yeah, so, um, <laughs> that lateral thinking puzzle, absolutely terrible. I mean, it got me thinking, lateral thinking puzzles are kind of just a way, oh my god, it's raining. 
Oh no, there's gonna be so many flowers tomorrow. <laughs> it got me thinking, aren't actual thinking puzzles just a way of, like, avoiding coming up with an interesting riddle or puzzle in some aspects? You can make up any solution. You could just be like, oh, the guy was an actor and he was acting in a play, but he got his line, but someone got his line wrong or something and didn't yell out freeze. It's just, I don't know. Doesn't sit right with me. Lateral, some lateral thinking puzzles. It just seems like, um, I guess it's not really a puzzle. It's more like a creative exercise. Like, what sort of interesting solutions can you come up with with a pre-posed problem? Which I guess is fair enough, but it's, I don't know. Putting them as puzzles. I mean, like, advertising them as puzzles seem like a... Seems like a, a, a wrong way to do it in my mind. Seems misleading, you know? No, I, I like... Uh, does a puzzle have to have a solution? I guess not. <laughs> I'm convincing myself out of it, but I don't know. The, the term lateral thinking puzzles, it should be more like lateral thinking problems or lateral thinking exercises? I don't know. It just... It's, it's just that one parrot lateral thinking puzzle, problem, exercise idea, challenges, that sort of thing. You know, it's just, it's just stuck with me all this time. <laughs> just ever since. I just couldn't get over the fact that it's a... Oh my god, it's a thunderstorm! Holy moly, I've never seen a thunderstorm in Animal Crossing. I didn't even know it could happen. That's a scary amount of lightning as well. <laughs> it's going again. Lightning and thunder. Wow! I can't believe they put thunderstorms in here. <laughs> I wonder if anything special happen, happens during a thunderstorm. Hmm. Maybe, maybe not. Didn't mean to land that. Let me drop that here. Why don't we see what Sahara's got going on? I know I said I was going to do it off camera, but whatever. The rugs have a most fun part, and I'm not done talking about lateral thinking puzzles yet. <laughs> Actually, I kind of am. I can't remember any of the other stuff from there, but they always... I feel like they always have like ridiculous solutions and I guess that's the point of lateral thinking puzzles is like can you come up with a creative enough solution that works in that circumstance rather than anything but you can like that's too open-ended in my opinion you can come up with like almost anything to any solution you just think of some weird problem like I don't know let's reverse engineer a lateral thinking puzzle right now and like I don't know a kid's climbing a, a tree and then um, he accidentally sees a spider and he uh, gets scared and falls out, the, almost falls out of the tree, but um, lands on the ground. So the puzzle becomes a kid was about to put his hand down on something and then didn't and was going to scream, but he couldn't and then <laughs> fell over. What what happened? Oh, he was actually climbing a tree, about to put his hand down on a spider, but he's scared of spiders. He wants to scream. And here's the part you didn't get. I added it in on the fly. Uh, turns out uh, he's got his sleeping baby sister right next to him and doesn't want to wake her, so he stifled his scream. <laughs> and then he fell over because he fell off a tree, you know? I don't know. That was absolutely terrible. That's my that's my problem with lateral thinking puzzles. I'm not very good at making them, so perhaps I shouldn't um, practice what you preach, that sort of thing. <laughs> that's not encouraging me even more. Now, riddles. Riddles. That's my jam. I'm not going to spend time talking about riddles now because... <laughs> There's not enough time left in this episode to really talk about them. I'll save it for another time. Riddles, I absolutely love riddles. Riddles are some of my favourite things. The problem is, if you love riddles so much, and you're like me, you spent a lot of time searching up riddles, um, you kind of hear, you kind of heard all of them. And by riddles, I mean like puzzle riddles. I don't mind like the word was like the who am I, what am I sort of riddles. They're cool as well. They're actually fun to make up, to be honest. And I like to do that on like when we went on school trips with my friends, I make them up. Um while we're on the coach. I oh I, I remember this one vaguely. Let me think what it was. Oh, I can't I have many teeth, but I, I never eat. Strung up hair and free gold feet. For a thousand years, you've heard my cry from joy to sorrow. 
what am I? That that was it. <laughs> if you know the answer, of course, post it in the comments or something. I mean, I don't think anyone's actually made it. This is like the last few minutes of the episode. No, no one goes this far. Not even me. I don't even watch my own videos. <laughs> so don't blame you. Earth rug. Wow, it's literally the earth. It's actually centered on Europe as well. Kind of. This sort of looks like Europe, doesn't it? <laughs> centered on the Middle East or something. I don't know. They, they probably try to make it ambiguous. A red Persian rug. Whoa. That's pretty cool, actually. Cafe curtain wall. Ah, oh, this is a cute one. I'm not sure why it's cafe. Magma cavern. Oh, we already got one of these. And I was like, whoa. Highway flooring. I, I believe we have this. Yeah, we do. And I commented on it and I was like, why is it like a highway in the desert? <laughs> That's not what I imagined. I thought it'd be like in a big city. Should we see if we've got enough tickets? If we don't have enough tickets, we'll round off this episode here. There's nothing else I've got to say. Oh, but we do have enough tickets. So we'll grab one more thing. Just before the end of this episode. Because, I don't know, why not? I decide. I decide when you leave. Not really. You're probably already gone, to be honest. If you stuck it out to the end. What are you doing? This has been me ranting about lateral thinking puzzles for the past 20 minutes. Nothing exciting. Let's make a trade. One day one mysterious wallpaper. Things... This you have already. Do you want mysterious flooring? Okay. Of course, they can only sell you mysterious wallpaper once, and mysterious flooring once, and ticket once, and ticket flooring once. Ticket. What the heck is a scramble crosswalk? Is this going to be based off um, the crossroad thing in Shibuya, in Japan? Like, a, the absolutely insane crosswalk where like million oh, not millions <laughs> that's, that's far too many people a ridiculous amount of people cross all the time yeah kind of is it basically is oh well oh, we'll continue using this because this doesn't really fit but anyway let's round off this episode here. i don't know what what has been happening i've just spaced out for the past half an hour but if you have been watching thank you very much it's been animal crossing new horizons and i've been dear darling on my island of fawn hollow i hope we can see each other again but for now so farewell so until next time oh nearly forgot <laughs> bye bye for now